give a fuck what anybody else thinks about it. How's it going, G Freaks and Sci Fi Fanatics? This is Daniel. Always coming at you raw and real, and I am back again with another raw and real review, and this time it's for SH Monster Arts Kong from the film Godzilla vs. Kong 2021. And I know there's <laughs> I know there's something weird about this, but I'm gonna explain first off. The reason why I have the Kong figure on a napkin is because not only is my computer desk kind of slick, when I got my Kong figure, the left leg actually came with a loose joint and I'll rectify that soon with some hairspray, but that's why he's standing on a napkin and now that I'm just gonna get straight to this review I'm gonna start off with articulation and like I said before SH Monster Arts has always been very good with articulation and with this Kong though I guess the one that I got is that the left leg is very loose the joints very loose everything else is pretty much tight and the articulation is great and he's very tough to keep standing he's very tough to keep standing I had to adjust take about 15 minutes just to adjust everything and see what I mean the loose leg but with the articulation everything works he also came with eight sets of hands and you know the head moves the arms, the legs, very, very articulated. Very, very articulated. I could say it was one of the better articulated figures, but I really can't say that because I mine came with a loose leg, a loose left leg joint. So, but I'll I'll, I'll rectify that. And even for the back right here, you know the articulation is good. The torso moves. So that's always that's always good and came with two interchangeable heads all right stand for me calm all right and you guys see right here here's the other calm kong interchangeable face and the axe the great equalizer the axe looks really cool like that looks really cool. I can't get this darn camera to focus, but yeah, it looks. The axe is always cool. And I always add photos so you guys know that. But yeah, okay, so the articulation is good. It could have been better, but I mean, I'm just saying that because of the loose leg joint. But the face looks pretty badass the silhouette for his scars could have been a little bit brighter but not too bad and his fur it looks good I mean then other Kong figures I mean I don't have many Kong figures but it looks it looks pretty damn good and the fur color is pretty much spot-on from the film it's gonna look a little darker because it's a figure but it looks just like the way it looked in the film and what else the, the 
deltoids, chest, traps, biceps, you know, thighs, everything looks good. And one of my more articulated figures uh, based on, you know, collectibles and stuff like that. And it looks good overall. It's just the fact that the left leg joint is very loose and keeping him standing up is a freaking that's a freaking job but it looks good and i like the way the fur came out and sh monster arts is always known for the detail and getting to the detail the head the coloring in the mouth you know everything's pretty much everything's pretty much spot on and the way the hands came out the interchangeable hands to use for holding the axe it's very poseable it's very poseable and I really like the detail it looks that's the for me the best part I'm always about detail and display and yeah the the fur the articulation the detail the eyes the nose I mean, just when you when you put the axe on, I don't have the axe on right now because the axe kind of sh it kind of sh shifts the weight for the figure and it topples over, and that's probably the main negative about this. That's the con, is that it's it's really kind of hard to keep him standing, and then with the axe, the axe is not that heavy, but it kind of like when you put him in certain poses, he actually topples over a little bit. Well, mine does and the axe kind of shifts the weight and that's why i don't have the axe on right now because it'll just keep talking over and i really have to adjust it and i don't want to have to take that long of a, a video you know because i hate doing long videos but so far this one's not gonna be that long and i really do like this uh kong sh monster arts figure probably the best one out there besides the NECA classic kong but i really do enjoy this this figure and it's also one of the last sh monsters uh, collectibles i'm ever gonna have and overall so far i really do enjoy it the detail is the best part the way he looks the interchangeable heads the alternating fists that you can use you can even pose them in an actual gorilla pose and yeah that's those are the best parts and there you have it, G Freaks and Sci Fi Fanatics. There's my Raw Real review for SH Monster Arts Kong from the film Godzilla vs. Kong 2021. So, if you guys do enjoy the content I create, like, share, and subscribe. I hope you guys have a good Saturday. This is Daniel, the Sci Fi Century. Always keeping it raw and fucking real. So, I'm out.